Okay, so now we're going to talk about finding bad characters. When we talk about finding bad characters, we're talking about this in relation to generating shellcode. When we generate shellcode, we need to know what characters are good for the shellcode and what characters are bad for the shellcode. We can do that by running all the hex characters through our program and seeing if any of them act up. By default, the null byte x00 acts up. So we're going to take a look at what these look like and if any of these bad characters act up in our program. So let's go ahead and actually go out to Internet Explorer or Firefox in Kali. And what we're going to do is I just Googled bad chars. So what we're going to look for is this first bulbsecurity.com link. And it's already got it put out for us here. So what we're looking for is just to copy and paste this variable here, the bad chars variable. I'm going to copy this guy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just g-edit the last Python script we worked on. For me, that was 2.py. It could be whatever you named your script. And if you recall, we had just overwritten the EIP with 4B. So we're just going to add on to that. So I'm just going to hit enter twice here and then hit paste. And remember we talked about the null byte, this x00 being bad. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that anyways. So we don't even have to run it through our program. So when we're talking about bad characters, what we do here is we run every single character in hex through it, right? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0A, 0 0B, 0 0C, et cetera, all the way to XFF down here. So some programs have characters. Just let's make something up, for example. Say X70. It may be some command that runs in the program that tells it to do something, right? So we don't want to use X70 in our generating of shellcode because then the shellcode is going to break if it uses this X70. So what we do is we parse all of these through the program and we see what looks funny. Basically, it's an eye test. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this. Actually, we need to add one more thing. I apologize. We're going to add the bad chars here after the EIP. And then we're going to save this. And then again, if you're creating a new file, make sure you change your mode. Of course, make sure that you have your immunity running and you have Vuln server attached. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fire this off. It should break the program. No big deal. Okay, it comes through. We see again, we've got a bunch of 42s here. But what we're really interested in is the hex dump. So we can look at that dump this way. We could say, at the ESP, right click and say follow and dump. Okay, if you look here, let me try to make this bigger. If you want to make it bigger, you can actually go into the text or the appearance, I apologize, and you could say the font to OEM, I believe, is the biggest. Okay, and I will try to pull this up a little bit so it looks bigger here. So what we're going to do then is we're going to look at this hex dump here. And if this is small, I apologize. So what we're doing is we're saying, okay, I sent X01. So we're expecting a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we expect 0A, 0B, 0C, 0D, 0E, 0F, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. We go through this whole list, right? Remember the last thing we sent was FF. So we're looking for FF down here. We go through every single thing and we see if there's anything out of place. Now, heads up, there's nothing out of place here. Um, Vault Server was made to be very easy, very straightforward. So there are no bad characters. But if there were a bad character, it would be out of place. It would not make sense. Like, for example, if you're reading through and you see 10, 11, and then 12 was missing, and then it goes to 13, Okay, it's likely that 12 is a bad character. Now, to make more sense of this, I do have bad characters pulled up. Let's take a look at this. So, I've got this dump here instead. So if we look, we've got 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, B0, B0, 0, 06, 0, 07, 0, 08. Okay, so right away, we're missing four and five, right? So we can identify those as bad characters. And what about the rest? So if we keep going through here and we keep looking for these B zeros, which is how it's identifying, then we know that those are bad characters. Now, I will say that it's not going to always be B zero that shows up. It's just going to be something that's out of place. 
And this is definitely an eye test that you're going to have to run through when you do buffer overflows and you're going to have to make sure you find everything. I have in the past missed one bad character, generated my shell code and pulled my hair out for 30 minutes to an hour looking at why it was not working. So if you want to look at this in practice, Go ahead, you could pause the video, see if you can identify the rest of the bad characters here. But if not, I'll identify them for you. It's these guys, right? So what you would do is you would write all of these down. You would say, okay, I'm missing 04, I'm missing 05, I'm missing 28 over here, um, I'm missing 29, missing 44, 45, etc. right? So you wanna make sure you notate all of these down because when we generate shell code in a couple of videos, you're gonna to have to remember all of these. But again, lucky for us, the only thing we're gonna to have to take out when we generate shell code is that null byte, which we took out here, or else we'd see it start with zero, zero. So we're gonna go on to the next video now, and that's gonna be called finding the right module. And then after that, we'll generate our shell code and gain root.